Hey YouTube, this is Steve, the language nut. Um, I am doing a review today on February 13th, 2014, on this book here. It's called 2001 Most Useful German Words. Um, this is similar to the other book I have reviewed called 2001 Most Useful Spanish Words which I have already uploaded to YouTube, so please check out my videos to find that one, that video review. And also I have done a review on the book called 1001 Span Most Useful Spanish Words, and I already did a review on that as well here on YouTube. And just for reference, this is 2001 for Spanish, and this is 1001 for Spanish. You want to know about this one? Check out my previous video on it. You want to know about this one? Check out my previous video on that today. Today I'm working on reviewing this book here. This is again by Dover Language Guides, and um, I'm going to pretend that you did not watch my other video review on this book here. All right, I'm going to repeat a lot of things. So this book here is written by a last name of Moser. 2001 Most Useful German Words by Dover Publishing. I got this for, um, I believe it was exactly this price over on Amazon. And then, um, I had free shipping on it as well. Below this video, I will put the link to where you can get the same book over on Amazon as well. I'll save you some time there. While you're at it, before you click that link for Amazon, go ahead and click like on this video to let me know that you appreciate the work I do here. Also, click subscribe so you get all my future videos of language stuff and computer stuff and reviews of electronics. And also uh, share this with anyone you know of that's learning German or languages or st thinking of going to Germany or thinking about doing anything with languages or German or anything at all. You can just post this on Facebook and one of your 600 friends should uh, appreciate the uh, link. Um, so if you do click that link below the video for Amazon, go ahead and right click that link and choose open in new tab. And that'll open up Amazon a different tab so that, it, uh, so that you don't lose this video that you're watching right now. Um, first off, this book has... <clears throat> Uh, 200 pages, it was published and written or whatever in uh, 2012. Dover writes lots of books on many different topics, from Death in Venice to Selected Folk Tales, etc. But they also do language ones, and their books are always really cheap. But they're also, but they're so compact in a way that they have fantastic information in them for a great value, so I, I really do enjoy Dover. Um, as you know, I, uh, I don't work for any book company. I'm actually a, a registered nurse here in uh, the United States. And I do love languages. I'm a language nut, as you can tell from my other videos. So, this book here covers many different topics and categories. Um, if you want to find a specific word, and you happen to know that the word is a color, like blue, you just go down to Category Section, Colors, and then go to page 187, they'll have a list of the 10 or, 10 or whatever most popular colors that you would use in daily communication in German. Same thing with months, or parts of the body, or health, or family, etc. And... The categorization section is pages 180 to 193, so it's uh, roughly 12 pages of categories. And what's that look like? I'll show you. Let's go to page 181. And this is the beginning of the category section, there's 12 pages. These are all the greetings you'll be using. Here's occupations. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole book, because I don't want you to uh, get all this great information for free here. I want you to buy this book for just, you know, simple five bucks. Um, but let me skip ahead to another part of the category section. 
here is clothing, and then here it is in German. Uh, seasons, communication and media, like, oh, I would like to buy a sweater, which is called a pullover. <laughs> Pretty funny, I think. Pajamas are pajama. I don't know really. I don't know how to pronounce these. I'm still working on my Spanish pronunci uh, pronunciation and reading. Um, communication, like I want to buy a DVD player, or um, this radio is broken, etc. So that's great. But what's before the 100? And, what's before page 181? Before page 181, you have all of these page page uh, 180 through uh, through page five. It looks like are all the 2001 words in alphabetical order, and that's all this. Look at that. And I was gonna go like this, all in alphabetical order, all these here, and I'll stop right here in this page here. They're all in German here, and then it has like Australisch is Australian, so it's German first and English second. What's down here? Oh, okay. Um, German is first, and then English is second. And we're on page fifty. Still, we have German first, English second. German first, English second. We're on page eighty-five. Still, we have German first, English second. German first, English second. In German first, English second. German first, English second. Still, so as you can see, it's a one-way book. You you have to find the word in German. I'll tell you in English, but that's okay. That's perfectly acceptable. This is not a dictionary. This is just to tell you the 2001 most useful German words. If it was a dictionary, it would say dictionary. It's not, okay? So, you can have your friend say, you can have your friend ask you the German words and you can rattle off the German, the English words, or vice versa. It's great to have a friend to help you study. And then, for example, to miss is, I don't, uh, my pronunciation, pronunciation is very bad. I'm, I'm just starting off in German here. To miss in English, in German, is verpassen. Maybe, er hat die letzte U-Bahn des Tages verpasst. And then below it is the same thing, but in English. He missed the last subway of the day. Like, oomp. this is, this word's probably, here is probably unterband. For like, uh, under road, like autobahn. It's where you drive real fast. And, um, I think unter is under. So it's under road or subway. Anyway, I think so. <laughs> Letzt is last. Die letzte, the last. Er is he. Hat is missed. Des Tages verpasst. Of the day. Let's see, day is tagus. Verpast is probably missed over here, because the verb would be last, as you can read in the beginning. Because the beginning of the book gives you a little bit of introduction to the German pronunciation and how to pronounce the diphthongs and the special letters you'll find only in German. But what's at the end of the book? Let's find out. Let's uh let's go past the two thousand one frequency. Words. Let's go past the the category words, and here's the end of the book. Here, the last five pages. German and English cognates. Words you already know. Arm is arm. Um, auto is auto. Ball is ball. Bitter is bitter. Bringen is to bring. Bus is bus. Finger is finger. Gel is gel, glass is glass, gold is gold. Um, the word for money in German is actually uh, comes from this word. It's Geld, Geld, which means money. So Geld comes from the word gold. Uh, hand in English is hand. To hang is, I think uh, that's hangen or hangen. I'm not quite sure in that letter there. If you don't know, you go over to the pronunciation guide. And you look at it. Similar to a German E or an English E. 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 So it's E. E. Hangen. 
Hengen. There we go. Figured that word out, right? And they're cognates. Oh, what's that? Oh, more cognates. Look at these words you already know because you speak English. Look at them all. And here's more. Water is Vasa. She is Z. They're so close. Cow is... I think that's pronounced cow. I don't know. Or k. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Um, copper is kupfer. And then after this, after these cognates, it's like a hundred. You have the subject pronouns. In, um, this is singular and plural. I, he, she, it, we, you, they. I, he, she, it, we, you, they. Over, and then we have uh, regular verb formation. How to form verb the verbs. Um, stem ch stem vowel change in verb formations. A regular helping verbs. This book is really awesome. I really enjoy these books. Um, accusative prepositions, dative prepositions, um, two way prepositions, and that's it. And this book will cost you just simple five dollars in free shipping. So I highly recommend you buy this book. If you're also interested in Spanish, um, be sure to. Um, well, after you're done, you know, liking my video and sharing it and checking out the link below the video so you don't lose this page or nail, you can also check out my other videos by clicking my name, which is Stephen Linux, on YouTube, and you'll find my other book. You'll find a review on this one and a review on this one. And you'll also find reviews on all the language books that I have done. Um, with that said, I wish you luck on your language studies. Any questions, please type them below. Um... Any questions, comments, or concerns, please post them. I love hearing from everyone out there. And um, that's about it. If you're learning German, it's an interesting language. It's very, very cool, in my opinion. Um, it's one of the languages I've learned um, add into my repertoire. I speak English, Spanish, and Portuguese fluently. And I am working on learning German and um, Mandarin Chinese at the moment. So... With that said, um, if, if I can do it, I'm a simple dude. You can definitely do it. The objective is to study a little bit every day, all right? It's better to study every day for 20 minutes or 10 minutes a day, every day, rather than once or twice a week for an hour or two hours, all right? Because your, your brain will thank you and you'll, you'll will remember things a lot better. All right, with that said, again, today is uh, February uh, 13th. Uh, 2014, and I um, wish you luck. All right, bye-bye now.